look terrific. My brother Tom Hagen is oh. Kay Adams. How, How do you do? do? Brother, why does he have a different name? Oh, uh, when my brother Sonny was a kid, he found Tom Hagen in the street, and he had no home. And so my father took him in. And he's been with us ever since. You spend time with your family? Sure I do. Good. Because a man who doesn't spend time with his family can never be a good man. Hey, Mikey. Why don't you tell that nice girl you love her? I love you with all of my heart. If I don't see you again soon, I'm gonna die. <laughs> Your wife and children, are you happy with them? Very happy. How's your boy? He's good. You know, he looks more like you every day. smarter than I am. Three years old, he can read the funny papers. Read the funny papers. Anyway, you say you're too busy saving everybody else to save yourself And you don't want no help, oh well, that's a story to tell Like you can let it all go, you can let it all go Scott, free fall, Scott, free fall You can let it all go, you can let it all go Cause ain't shit free but falling out That shit's easy, let me show you how it's like Simon, I have to get home. I oh, know, mate. Sorry, but you know, tax department, pack of dogs, aren't they? What's the big rush? Uh, nothing, just big day. No, listen, Ralph, I know you're a private kind of guy and I respect that, but let me give you a little bit of free advice. Don't 
keep secrets, yeah? Yeah, no. No. It distances you from people. Yeah. And you can't keep them forever. No. No. <laughs> I know you're a big secret, Ralph. Hi, I'm Alan Knight. Um, I'm a former goalkeeper. Hi, um, my name is Vince Hilaire. I came to Portsmouth Football Club in 1984, a long time ago, from Luton Town, funnily enough. Everyone associates me with uh, Crystal Palace, where I've spent um, 12, 13 happy years. But I had a short stay at Luton, and they quickly found out that I wasn't very good and packed me off to... Uh, to Portsmouth where I had four or five really um, enjoyable years and uh, made me grow up as a, as a human being. Uh, I was always a footballer, uh, I was always wanting to be a footballer, but coming to Portsmouth rounded me off and uh, I had a very happy stay there and uh, I'm still down there, even though I left Portsmouth and went off to Leeds, uh, which I thoroughly enjoyed, played for Stoke. Uh, and finished my career at Exeter City. So, uh, yeah, it was a pretty long career, and uh, I will say the happiest part of it was uh, at Portsmouth. I'm now the ambassador for the football club. Um, yeah, played um, 801 games, all in all. Talking more in modern times now, coming up to, to, to now, 2020, or modern times. Mm. How do you think the supporter has changed? How do you think football has changed? How do you think that football? Hugely. Massively. Can um, you put that in a sentence? The, 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 the love and, 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 and the feel for the club and, and, and the passion that the supporters have hasn't really changed. Just society, people have changed. Um, we spoke about social media, uh, the closeness or, or that that can bring and the, the, the pitfalls that that brings as well. The, the, the steps that are being taken now with um, you know with things like uh, kick it out um, it does bring people's awareness um, but it's not just it's not just color color of skin it's you know it's homophobia it's uh, women now have, uh, you took talk in the same terms as regards to sport um, it, it's get, that's getting bigger and bigger and the discrimination of any sort people now are more aware because of you know things like kick out and um, there is no place for it in the game it will take time but people shouldn't be you know too too impatient because you're, you're not just trying to change one person you're trying to change a culture so uh, it's going to take time and I I, I I'm lucky in the respect that I was there probably starting my career out when it was at its worst and I was there when and played football when there was recruitment going out outside ground by the national front as it was then uh, by you know other right wing organisations I, I, I've been there when thousands of people have uh, were making Nazi salutes and pro probably lots of those people lost grandparents great grandparents in the war and Again, through lack of uh, education, or not, uh, that's the, the wrong word, not lack of education, lack of, lack of understanding and people not standing up and saying it's not right, instead of saying uh, a lot of kids now will, will turn around and say, you can't say.